What is something the president did that personally affected you negatively? I was cleaning up after a hurricane. Sent group out to get lunches. They didn't come back. Sent another group out to get more garbage bags and bleach. They didn't come back. It was dark, so we had to stop working no power. Our cars couldn't get out. Fucking presidential motorcade stopped all traffic in the middle of hurricane cleanup for four hours. No child left behind directly affected my teaching in which kids were promoted. When Clinton was campaigning for his second term, he planned a rally in the small town I was living in at the time. His motorcade shut down half the state when he was traveling through which pissed off a lot of people, but what really annoyed me is this rally had some jackass banging on a big drum all day long, but the roads were all closed so I couldn't get out of town while it was going on. The worst part is he never even showed up so it was all for nothing. I'm still a little irked about that one. George W. Bush's No Child Left Behind Act. Im on the spectrum, and No Child Left Behind put such an emphasis on every class getting a certain average that the teachers pressured my parents to put me in special ed. Gerald Ford punched me in the nuts. Trump limited mortgage interest deductions in 2017, back before he was the president Ronald Reagan apparently personally had a relative of mine fired from their state California job when that relative wrote a letter to the editor that was published that was critical of a policy that Reagan had put forward. Lowered the corporate tax rates and lied to me that the money would trickle down to the people. My bosses each bought a lake house. My salary has remained the same while my cost of living has risen probably 20 since then. A man in Arkansas owned an abusive Christian school when he finally went to prison. Trump pardoned him. It had been 15 years since I went to that school. I didn't know I could be broken any further. But that news broke me. I hate Trump. He's a pedo advocate, a Nazi, barely human garbage. Trump made my dad who was an asshole within the margins feel justified in being a bigger asshole. Richard Nixon broke into my house at night and wrecked the place up. Bailouts. They hurt every taxpayer. The people are the safety net for the corporations. They've all done it for as long as anybody alive has been alive. Grover Cleveland spanked Grandpa Simpson on two non-consecutive occasions. British example. The current Prime Minister's choice to make it harder to bring foreign members of your family into the country has meant that I have to look into leaving the UK entirely since my fiend is now unable to join me here. Stacked the Supreme Court with assholes who made it legal to let me die in a hospital parking lot simply for having a miscarriage or an ectopic pregnancy. During his presidency, George Bush Sr., his administration made a small change to the tax code. This rule stated that in order to be declared an independent student not under your parents' financial system you must make minimum 4000 My parents basically abandoned me for going to university. Mom stole one of my scholarship checks, cashed it, and fled the state. It's not like we lived all that great to begin with. Government Section 8 Projects my dad quit his job and moved and since I hadn't lived with him growing up he stopped paying anything when I turned 18 and his child support duties ended. The thing is I was on an army scholarship as well and thus room and board was covered. I worked, but at a place that fed me and allowed me to do laundry there. I slept at a good friend's house. This tiny little change cost me 6000 at a time when that was more money than I could fathom. I was fucking poor. I was just shy of the 4,000, but mostly because I had benefits that most people died and get. No. I have never supported nor even trusted a Bush administration ever. Arrogant rich, Saudi family not polishing fucks can go to hell. Got to drive an armored car to pick up Trump and his family from the airport. I was driving his two sons and their wives and the only instructions I were given was to keep up and don't slow down. Following the lead car out of the airport, I hit a speed bump going upwards of 80 miles an hour and no one in my car was wearing seatbelts. 
everyone's heads hit the roof including the then pregnant wife of Donald Jr. When we got to the destination Trump took a good three minutes yelling at me because I endangered his family. All I said in response was you get what you pay for, and I was free which he died in like. But as a fairly normal person, the things I heard in that 20 minute car ride was absolutely shocking. Edit for clarity, this was the night he won the 2016 primary in South Carolina. He was not the president yet. My family and I are from Canada, and we decided we would spend Christmas one year in Hawaii. We had a great time, by the way, what a fantastic place to visit. During the trip home, there was a delay in our flight leaving because Air Force One had to leave and they get priority and all the air traffic gets grounded. President Obama is the only American president who has ever personally inconvenienced me.